All right, we're back. What do we got here? We got some Rubens Brews out of Seattle. This one's called Mind the Gap. On the go IPA, they call it, in a 12 ounce can. Something that I do like about uh, Rubens, they offer 12 ounce cans, six packs. Uh, let's see, Mind the Gap, Mind the Gap. Okay, here we go, some stats. 5.3% alcohol, uh, 35 IBUs, and it says, Mind the Gap is a highly drinkable and crisp IPA uh, bring the hops along your adventures and mindfully enjoy the gaps in your day. Uh, Rubens Brews at our family brewery. We brew, whoops, we brew from the glass backwards, designing each beer with intention, unbound by constraints. We know that making that extra effort is worth it. From your everyday favorite beers to our innovative new releases, we help you grow your love for beer. Rubens Beers or Rubens Brews Beers Unbound. Cool. Let's fucking take a little swig. Okay, so crisp, refreshing. Um, it has some like bright citrus notes on top, but it it's um it's not like a full flavor punch in the mouth. Um, I think this is kind of like a session IPA. You know, five percent is pretty bottom of the barrel like basic these days and i think this is just kind of like a very sessionable like i grabbed a six pack of this because i'm gonna barbecue later very sessionable i think you could drink these back to back to back and you won't get like a palate fatigue because it's not that heavy it's good it's good all right let's get into it the honorable <laughs> Mr. Postman. Look at that fucking thing. Look at that fucking LLV uh, postal vehicle that's been hot rotted out. Now that's somebody who fucking loves the post office right there. That is what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> so this is from Through the Fire Fine Craft. Or as CDB used to say, Through the Fire Fine Craft. <laughs> we got some uh, ingredients on the side there. Um, this is in their new formula called, uh, their high octane shaving soap. So you can see right there, nice side label, got the ingredients, um, a little artisan information on the side there. And the soap itself actually has a light blue tinge. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up or if you'll be able to, uh, discern that light blue tint, but it's definitely there on this side. And this is a beautiful, beautiful cologne type scent. So that's what we're going to be using today, and boy, oh boy, we're going to be using a treat. Hopefully, uh, you checked out my Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse video, but if you didn't, it's uh, I have four custom-themed shaving brushes, and this was the, the fourth horseman in the group. And this one just arrived from Turn and Shave, and goddamn, it's stunning. Got the flutes on the bottom, the uh, shape of the handle is his inception um, handle shape that usually is associated with the M1 hand, uh, hand tied knot. I actually got an M2 hand tied knot on top, but it's uh, I decided to go with black dyed burl wood with uh, black resin on top that has silver and gold kind of dispersed throughout. Now, in person, I'm, I see swirls all over this fucking thing. All over. But the camera just doesn't pick it up. It doesn't do it justice. There's a lot of depth inside that resin, but the camera doesn't pick it all up. But it's fucking beautiful. I mean, you can see some of those nice burls in the wood and all that. Very beautiful. And that hand-tied knot, we're about to see how that feels right now. So, really good stuff. <clears throat> that brush right there is named Famine. It's the uh, the final horse of the apocalypse, I believe. Hopefully I don't got the facts all wrong on that, but Famine basically arrived on a black horse and the rider um, bared a set of scales. And so I wanted to go black on black to kind of represent those scales. <clears throat> if you look, you know, like black scale on this side, scale on that side, 
he arrived on a black horse. <clears throat> and the scales, you know, were meant to measure measure out people's food for their weight in gold or whatever. Or whatever the hell they used back then. But, really cool. I think it came out fucking awesome. Milton, you know, Milton just does a fantastic job with custom brushes. As per usual, we had to butt heads a little bit, but as per usual, I got my way. <laughs> um, and I, I couldn't be happier. I think Milton was pretty happy with the way it turned out as well. Um, you know, I made him do a couple firsts, a couple things that he's never done before. And, um, but I think we both were happy with the end result. I told him on this, um, when it came to the knot, you know, I told him the V4 tip knot was really fucking jelly and I never really fully warmed up to it. And so I told him, you know, I would really like it if I could get the M2 because he told me that the M2 um, has less gel than the M1 or it takes gel um, a little bit differently than the M1 and I told him you know could I get no gel <laughs> I was like no gel I just want the fucking hand tied knot and um, then he told me you know down the road if if I decide I want gel I can get it later down the road but <clears throat> I wanted to go with no gel because I didn't you know you could always add a little bit later but can't really take it away so, I wanted to uh, start off with no gel. And I like, I like it preferably with no gel anyways. Or just a, or just a entry level gel, just barely any gel. Alright, we're going with the Razor Rock Hawk V3 Super Neural Handle. Very um, attractive, clean, um, artist club style razor. Same one I used yesterday. Same blade I used yesterday, so it's on its second use now. So, you know, first time using this shaving soap, first time using that shaving brush with that knot in it. And the lather looks all right doesn't look super dense it looks kind of like it has kind of like a medium uh, density to it but we'll see we'll see how the uh, performance goes this uh, hawk is feeling very nice again I think I think I'm gonna like this razor rock hawk I think I'm going to do a side-by-side uh, -side comparison with the Vector because I don't do a whole hell of a lot of side-by-sides. And then on top of that, you know, why not? They're two of the most um, iconic Artist Club style safety razors that we have available to us. So might as well put them uh, up against each other in a little side-by-side -side shave. It's uh, this one here. <laughs> I know it offers a more aggressive um, option, and it also offers an open comb option. But I got the standard bar on it. And like I said yesterday, it feels like entry level blade feel with a very smooth action to it. Very smooth, <clears throat> not intimidating. And it does have some fairly large lather channels underneath, which seem to be working pretty well. Um, so that's good. Upon that first pass, 
I noticed that it was um, plenty slick. It definitely, I don't think I achieved a, you know, high density lather today. And, you know, this is my first run with the soap, so it's entirely possible that it's um, on me. It's also entirely possible that it's, um, you know, I'm not familiar with this uh, knot. And it is a very dense knot, so it's possible it could be holding on to a lot of soap and not giving it back to me. Either way, I definitely have the slickness needed to get the shave accomplished. I'll tell you, when I'm painting like this, tips are very soft. I can definitely feel the density. It's not... I'll go ahead and dip the tips and just work in a little bit more water. It's so dense that it has like like a like above medium backbone. That density adds to it a little bit. It's not super hard to splay, but it, it doesn't splay instantly. But once it splays it has this very gentle scrub that I quite like. That's my preference. You might like not no scrub at all. I like a gentle scrub. It's nothing like abrasive or scritchy. It's just what I describe as a gentle scrub. And it is to my liking. It is to where I like it. You know what I mean? It reminds me of the V3 knot. Um... I have that on the Eldrudia brush that was gifted to me by uh, Jack from the Virtual Groom Room. That's another awesome brush. <clears throat> All right, I think we got it. Yeah, it just seems like about a medium density, and it almost has like this, um, almost like a foam-like consistency. I know that sounds like really negative. Um, but it doesn't have like this cool whip or, 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 um, it doesn't have the, like the visual on my end of that, like yogurt type consistency, which I quite like, you know, it's not necessary by any means. But it is to my uh, preference that I like it that way. I just think it like feels good on the face. It, it looks good on camera and the whole nine yards. It might not add a single... Oh, well, actually, I know it doesn't. It doesn't add a fucking thing to the uh, performance of the shave. But it just feels good and it looks good. And so it adds to the enjoyment of the shave. For me, you know, I'm only speaking for me. God damn, I am enjoying this hawk. I'm gonna have to use the uh, the vector, I think, before I do the side by side. This fucking hawk is feeling nice, like real nice. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I like the I like the vector. I like it a lot. But I don't know. It's gonna. It's definitely gonna have its uh, work cut out for it in that side by side. Very smooth. Plenty of slickness. Like, absolutely no slickness issues here. Plenty of slickness. And that little swirl of hair right on the Adam's apple. Convenient, right? I always gotta go left, right, up, and down. 
to get it. But I usually get it. It's not it's not that difficult. I just kind of stretch the scan, go every direction, and I usually get it. All right. That wraps up the shave. I think everything did its part today. The brush, absolutely stunning. Beautiful brush. A nice, um, a nice cap to my Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse brush collection. If you haven't checked out that video, I, um, I definitely suggest you go back and check it out. Um, I haven't uploaded that video as of yet, but it will be uploaded before this one. So if you haven't checked it out when this one airs, go back and check it out because it's kind of cool. Might give other people some ideas looking at those brushes of mine and, um, you know, inspire them to maybe get a little bit creative and do a themed uh, set of their own. But the scent on that, beautiful cologne scent. Um, I should have mentioned this at the beginning, but it was inspired by, uh, Leo Blue de Issy Por Homme. <laughs> and, uh, if you're wondering what the fuck I just said, it's about as confusing, um, in writing as it is to say it. Uh, I don't know if that's, like, French or Italian or, I don't know what the fuck it is, but it, it's, uh, <laughs> it's definitely not my language. I don't know what the fuck that is. But it is a wonderful smelling cologne. She definitely picked a good one. So, the soap performed great. It didn't whip up into um, a lather that's like super dense and uh, creamy. But it wasn't no slouch either you know it had medium density it was plenty slick which is all you need and um had a great scent on it so it is a tallow shaving soap i don't know if i mentioned that so it has like rosemary lime orange cypress juniper berries ginger Atlas cedar, patchouli, oak moss, sandalwood, and amber. And what what I get out of it is um, kind of rides that line of warm and bright, kind of right in the middle. Definitely has um, this mass appeal vibe to it. Get the citrus on top. But I think the woody notes um, are right there with it. And it's a winner for me. Alright. I'll get the rest off cam. Gotta wash my, wash my, rinse my face a little bit better. I'm trying to get rid of this acne and I'm, I'm taking the stallion's advice. Um, he said, you know, maybe wash a little bit better after the shave. Because normally I just wipe it down with a towel. Throw the aftershave on and I'm I split, but I'm gonna take the stallion's advice, uh, rinse a little bit better off cam. <clears throat> but here's the uh, aftershave splash. We're gonna throw it on. Quality restrictor on there. I guess I should have showed you the ingredients. Maybe I'll I'll put it on and then right before the end I'll show the ingredients. It does have kind of like a milky consistency and color to it. Holy shit, and this is way more robust of a fragrance. Way more robust of a fragrance than the shaving soap. I was I wish the soap banged like this. Cause this is fucking this is bold and banging. This aftershave is bold and banging. We're going back for a double dip. And I think this is uh this this deserves some max laps. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is fucking I wish the soap slapped like this. Like, the soap smelled good, but it was m more mellow than this. This is bringing the... This is what I'm talking about now. This is a sound worthy of a USPS tribute. <laughs> All right, guys. Like, as promised, I'll show you the uh, ingredients here. <clears throat> 
and then we'll go ahead and sign off. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, thank you for all the support. I hope you have a good weekend. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers.